This video is for my GCSE students just now coming to the end of the making of the projects. You, I would now recommend that you create a bill of materials while it's still fresh in your mind as to what you use. The bill of materials is going to include, as I've uh, noted here, all components and materials that you've used to make your project. So that includes all electrical and electronic components, the wire, um, MDF, nuts, screws, washers, absolutely anything that you've used. Now, to make this easier for you, I've created this spreadsheet. Um, I've made this in Google Sheets. Uh, I will share it with you. Um, I've tried to split things up. They're not particularly well sorted, but here we are some electronic components. So say if you've used the Genie microcontroller, you'll find the prices here. Now, if there's anything that uh, when you're searching through, you just cannot find, I think as I note down here, um, well, everything here is an estimate anyway. I'm not worried about whether they're too accurate. But if you can't find what you have used in your project, uh, then you um, should either research a price or estimate the price uh, based on somebody's prices as well. So bear in mind it's a GCSE project. Um, the prices are not absolutely critical. Um, so I've got a number of um, things there. Uh, electronic, mostly electronic and then mostly electrical here. I've tried to split it up a bit. So for example, um, if you manufactured your own PCB board and you use some of this. Now notice this is for um, a complete board uh, measuring 160 mil by 100 mil. You probably didn't use something so big. So you would um, take a fraction of that as the cost. Uh, strip board, um, that, those big strip boards we used, or many of you used, they're actually rather cheap. So. Um, you could work out a fraction of that, or you could just say that you used the whole board. Um, I'm not expecting anyone to cost the actual cost of soldering the projects. Just put down an arbitrary price of, say, 50 pence, that would be all right. Um, similarly, you know, don't get too hung up on the cost of wire. It's approximately 8 pence a metre. How much did you use? You know, roughly a metre, whatever you think you might have used. Uh, a lot of you have used um, header pins in your projects. Uh, it comes in the strip. I've calculated an approximate price per pin. So if you've used like six two pins, then you can do some uh, more simple multiplication there. Um, cable ties, sleeving, look, look through. Don't forget, um, I was going to say most, no, I think all of you have got a battery of some sort in there. So um, yeah, include the cost of the battery as well. Um, other materials, maybe some of you are going to um, spray paint it's probably not going to use a whole can of paint so I would say on average a typical project uses about a quarter of a can so that would be about one pound fifty um, to prime it and then a gloss coat on top so another one fifty um, wood screws if you screwed your PCBs down you know you've got to count for everything that you've used uh, many of you have screwed um, PCBs down to a piece of board um, the board that you've screwed down to is actually scrap, but still include it in your bill of materials. Um, but you can just say that it was scrap, therefore free, but it should be listed as an item. Maybe someone else wants to make this in the future, they won't have it as um, scrap material, so they'd actually have to buy it. Um, you know, things like threaded bar, a lot of you are using up stacked cases, that comes in per meter lengths, no one's got. A whole full meter of it so you work out how much you've used. The one that I envisage is going to cause the biggest problem for people who are um, challenged in numeracy is calculating uh, the cost of acrylic sheet and uh, MDF. Now um, no one um, used anything like a single whole sheet of acrylic plastic which cost £14.50. Uh, you only use a small part of it, so you're going to have to work out the um, area of that sheet in probably square millimetres, then work out the square millimetres area of the sheet that you actually use. Work it out as a fraction to calculate the unit, uh, to calculate the cost from this unit price of the whole sheet. Do the same for the MDF. Notice the MDF, even though it's a bigger board. Um, it's actually, you know, it's ridiculously much cheaper, so that's why I've always encouraged you to use MDF um, for prototyping purposes. It's fine anyway. Um, so other things like you've probably got some small MDF offcuts, they're free, but do list them in your bill of materials because it's still materials even though you weren't built for them. 
<clears throat> um, if you've been gluing, don't try and price up the actual quantity of glue. You know, just put down a, a nominal figure, figure of something like five p. Uh, similarly for hot melt glue. Now, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um, if you want to, in Circuit Wizard, I've just opened up a, an example file, file here. Um, if you want to, in Circuit Wizard, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but along the bottom there's normally something about costs. Um, I happen to have deleted it, uh, but if I right click here and go on to Insert Page, and then I can choose what page I want to insert. I want to insert Bill of Materials, let's call it POM, and click on OK. And you'll see, well, oh, let's zoom out a bit there. You'll see that there is a bill of materials made for me. Now, um, there's no cost, or oh, there's only a cost for the circuit board. I don't know where, where it got that from, incidentally. Um, now, you can, in Circuit Wizard, I, I can't remember where, but you can actually edit the unit costs. It's just not worth the hassle for you. Um, and also, in reality, uh, a lot of you who are exporting from Circuit Wizard will actually find that you didn't necessarily use those exact components because maybe you've added like header pins that weren't shown on the circuit board, etc. However, you might find it useful to export this. Uh, you can export it, you know, export it as a text file, open it up, um, and then copy and paste it, say, into Excel. So that might be useful to you. Just bear in mind that uh, it uh, exports as a text file, which uh, by default would open a notepad. Uh, you're probably aware that the school has blocked notepads to students so you might find that you actually have to right click on the file and open it in another program uh, such as WordPad or, or similar. Let's go back here. So um, I don't have Excel on this uh, computer that I'm using at the moment but um, what I would be expecting in a spreadsheet which this is very similar to Excel really I'd be expecting an item name, I would expect uh, a unit cost, I would expect a quantity, and then maybe add some, oh, let's have a, um, a total cost, and um, maybe some notes, might be useful to you, might not. Uh, of course you can format that. So item name, it might be something like um, a 220 um, uh, quarter watt resistor we only use um, quarter or eighth watt don't don't worry about it just just write quarter watt that would be okay unit cost is I think it's 2p each now don't forget you could uh, format things as money in Excel as well maybe you've used say five of these total cost is simply going to be that times that okay and then you'll carry on down and then you'll have a total at the bottom, you'll just sum those up. <clears throat> um, I'm just trying to think of anything else that you might need to know. Uh, yeah, don't forget, really don't, please don't forget that uh, you've got to include all the electronic components, all the electrical things, you know, whether it happens to be um, cable ties or whatever, and also the other materials as well. I'd really recommend as well, once you've got the total as well, maybe to have some comment, you know, does that match in with your with your initial expectation or your uh, specification, maybe that you had said in your product specification that it was going to cost no more than £5, £10 or whatever, so how much um, has it actually cost you? Are you within budget or not? It'd be pretty useful to do that. Now, if you're doing this in Excel, uh, you, I really would strongly recommend that you save the Excel file, even if you're going to copy and paste it, say into Word, save the Excel file just in case later on you need to make a modification so you want to edit the um, spreadsheet again, so don't just discard it.